morning. We're here at uh, Tromsø Airport in northern Norway and we're here to pick up John and Nick who are just flying in from Finland and we're off to film episode 4 down in Hammond Senja. Senja is the second biggest island in Norway. This is going to be one epic trip. We've got cod, halibut, uh, wolf fish, uh, I don't know what else is out there but we're going to go find out. from one of the best shops in Tromso. Uh, you'll find this fishing shop just down in the middle of town. It's the only one down there. Um, if you want to get some other stuff, you have to go out of town, but these guys have got a great selection and it's an awesome little shop. We've got our lures and tackle. We're ready to hit the water. We'll see you down here and send you. One bedroom. Studio, that's mine. Oh, it's... Whoa. Oh, you reached that door. Oh. oh. Hang on, get in there. There's two beds. See you later. Welcome to... Landroom. Kitchen. Perfect. You know, <laughs> how amazing God. God can't the evening get any better. <laughs> of making food here with this new, you know, and doosh. What do you think, Nick? Yeah, this is, this is, this is, I can cry f***ing worse with. <laughs> I just baby. want to start to cry. That was room there. Finally arrived, and <laughs> there's time. There's time to uh, have a walk. Yeah, we'll do it now. Good morning. The exciting time has come. We're about to go and get the boat keys, and we're going to head out there. After some cod and halibut, we're uh, starting to snow a little bit. That's all right. Nothing's going to stop us from getting out there and trying to get one of these monsters. <laughs> I'm going to 
open our wooden door. You look like you got a track on the end of it. day on the water, the wind was picking up and Nick had a few ideas so we decided to head back in and start preparing for dinner. Special secret? I got a special secret because I never feel that caught, but still, it should be fairly easy. You just go from the back bow and take it down, and then it should be like an upper upper fillet here that we're going to use. So it should be fairly simple. Just go down the neck and then. Then just follow the bones. It's not so big. It's fairly fairly small.
every day. Every day. <laughs> and it's like <laughs> clams are 20 meters from the <laughs> door and the, the crabs are two kilometers that way. Hello. Hey, Nick, what do you think happened said no? Yeah. <laughs> the next question, will, will you be back? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't, well, you're speechless. <laughs> Day one dinner was absolutely delicious after a long day on the water. We didn't think it could get any better until we looked outside and Mother Nature had turned it on for us. The Northern Lights came out and put on a brilliant show. Day two, the morning looked awesome. Not a cloud in the sky, uh, light winds. So we decided to head in and grab a buffet breakfast and that would set us up for the day to go out there and try and catch that really, really big fish. Started day two fishing. Yesterday, uh, day one was a little bit tough. It was quite windy. There's only limited spots we could go, but we ended up getting some crab, some uh, clams, cod, tusk, and today we're going to head right out, right, right out. It's going to take about one hour boat trip to get out there, 20, 30 k's, and apparently there's some really big cod out there, so 10 kilo plus. That's what we're after, that's what we came here for, and we're in search of that awesome halibut. So uh, the weather has turned it on for us today. It's going to be light winds and we are going to have a bowl. Can't wait. arrived out at the prehistoric land. <laughs> We're out at, uh, it's called Spainsgrun or something like that. It's 18 kilometers straight out from Havensenya. And we're fishing in 55 meters of water. And apparently there's 10 kilo plus got out here, so fingers crossed. It didn't last long out in the land of the monsters. John wasn't feeling too well, so we decided to get out of this swell and head in a bit closer and try and catch some fish in a bit of comfort. Yep. There. And it is tusk. That was a hit. Yep, I'm on. Wee, that's a good one. <laughs> oh, come on. I think this will be the biggest of It's a halibut, is it? No, it's a halibut. Yeah, it is a halibut. Yeah, it is. I thought it felt heavy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you wouldn't like any help, dude. We're, uh, let's get him in. Inside. <laughs> yes. Nice work. <laughs> <laughs> Put it there. <laughs> helle. Boom. Helle, helle veste. Kite. <laughs> Legal size for halibut, it's got to be 80 centimetres or longer. So we let that one go and John decided to do a little dance to try and bring up that big halibut. And little did we know what was about to happen next. We were about to change spots and all we heard was John starting to scream. 
to the sea? Is it still there? I'll go a little bit deeper. Yeah, there it is. It's, it's coming, it's coming. Oh, it was big. There it is, there it is. There it is. Isn't it there? It's coming out of the hook. Oh, you're a big one. Uh-oh. Okay. It's coming, it's coming. Hold on. Come on, come on. 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 Come we get to the <laughs> Sometimes. Is this your biggest? Yes. <laughs> so you were surprised also? Of course. What was your biggest before that? Four kilos. Five maximum. That's good fight also. If we get three, we get four. Yesterday. It's weird that, that it moves. Crazy. We didn't re end up catching any cod today, but next gun just up a uh, delicious dinner again. We actually got some cod from one of the other groups that went out. Spot that we went to earlier this morning, but we had to turn around because one of us felt a little bit, a little bit crook, we should say. So we came in a little bit, but these guys went out there this afternoon. They got a 13 kilo cod and one was 11 kilos and how many how many cod did they get it was like i think there were five or six five or six big ones. five or six and they were massive big ones yeah all right nick what are we going to have for dinner tonight uh clams with some garlic and well the same as yesterday some garlic, some and, uh, garlic and herbs and cream and stuff and then we're going to have some uh, cod and sweet potatoes and some sauce um, yeah that's pretty much it and we've actually got uh, one of the guides coming over Erston I hope I pronounced his name right but uh, he's gonna come over for dinner and we'll have a bit of a chat and see where they caught the cod so we can go out there tomorrow and get some. <laughs> Good morning, start of day three, final day. Yesterday, we went all the way out to a place with the big cod. Uh, we, on our way out, we were on Facebook Live, but then we got out there and there was no uh, reception, so unlucky for that one but one of us got a little bit seasick so we had to come back in but today we got a little bit lucky one of the guides has said the gun takes out in the big boat so we're gonna get right out there again today and hopefully get some big cob one of them was 14 kilos yesterday and we, we had this halibut chase John's lure and we're estimating it to be around 20 kilo mark and we're gonna go out and try and get him again today. How you feeling, Nick? Uh, we had a tactic yesterday that we should get the local guy drunk so he could tell all the secret spots and and we, I think we succeeded, but you can feel it today. <laughs> all right, 
The weather is absolutely perfect again. Uh, winds are coming from the south, so that's good. Come from the west here, you're in trouble, but the winds are looking nice. Let's go. arrived at the spot where John yesterday had this big halibut take his lure. You're gonna get him today mate. <laughs> well, we're fishing with, at the minute, we're fishing with these 700 gram jigs. Nick's got a, what are you putting on man? everything at him today. It looks like more No. What's that? What? Is that a rock? A rock. I caught a rock. A rock. We actually thought that was a hell of it. I need to take this one. That is a sign. That's a fucking... Two. That's going to be my lucky stone from the, from the <laughs> Atlantic Sea. Wow. Two. That's a, that's a great little plant, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After Nick caught that plant, we looked at the time and it was time to head back in. We had been invited by one of the guides at Hammond Senior to come out on a fishing trip with him and a few guests at one o'clock. So we decided to head back in and get some lunch, get ready, get pumped and get out there with this group and see what those guys could find. Pretty lucky we've been invited to go on a little tour with a group uh, and go and see how these guys go fishing. Well, we've been here for lunch and uh, we're lucky enough to get on a boat with a crew that's gone out for a bit of a fishing trip. So we've got couple of guys from uh, California, a few from Germany, and let's hope they can get some big ones. This is, uh, <laughs> this is David, he's not, he's not feeling too well at the minute, but hopefully, hopefully he gets a big one. That'll, that'll uh, stop him from feeling sick, I think. Over here, we've got Dakota. How, How you doing? doing? Good, doing, man? Is this the first time you've been fishing for cod? Uh, no, I've gone for cod a few times in the States, but it's the first time in the Arctic. Yeah, <laughs> wicked. We're, we're actually uh, in a spot where there could be some halibut, so hopefully, mate. Good luck to you. There you go. The Captain Erstein, he's, he's the guy that takes everyone out here. Awesome bloke. So, Dakota, what's your, uh, what's your biggest fish, mate? The biggest fish I ever caught was a 70 pound bluefin tuna off the coast of Mexico. Yeah? Yeah. How long did that take to get in? About an hour and a half. Oh, baby! Aye! How do you feel, mate? We're 
Jack, I'm good, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Yeah. 